in this video i'm going to show you how to create bullet points in photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> Hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so creating bullet points in photoshop isn't as easy as creating one in microsoft word or other softwares but here is a very simple way to create one first off to make sure that this is going to be an easy journey for you make sure that you are using the text box tool and not the ordinary test for instance you select your test tool and then you can easily left click to create a test so instead of just left clicking you just have to left click and drag so that it creates what is known as a test box now we want to create our bullets let's go to the very beginning stage or the very beginning part of the test and the first and most easiest bulletin point that you can create is with a shortcut i'll put it on the screen so you hold alt 0149 and then it creates this dotted bullet point for you very simple right but the disadvantage in photoshop is that it doesn't create automatically for you like it does in microsoft word or other softwares so you might probably have to repeat the same process over and over again so yeah of course if you want to be doing the same thing you may, you may have to repeat the same process over and over again so you hold alt 0149 and it creates the bullet for you and you can paste your test now the question you ask yourself is do we have other options like in microsoft word or other softwares the answer to that question is yes by the use of what is called glyph and i'm going to show you that in the next few minutes but the catch over here is that this is entirely dependent on the font that you're using so you realize that i'm using a font called Tego ui emoji here which when you go to the glyphs you're going to realize that it has a couple of other bullets that you can use but then if you select other fonts like poppins you might not get most of them and there is this popular font called paintings that you can install if you want to get a lot of these bullet points but sego ui has a lot of them so let's explore them to access your glyph you go to window and then you go to glyphs right over here now you do realize that there are a lot of so if you select this part and you select entire font it is going to give you everything that is included in this font which includes of course the emojis the test the shapes which in this case we're going to use for the formatting so you do realize that i've tested a couple of them over here so we come to the next line here and we want to insert a different bulletin point all that you need to do is you double click on this one so you double click and then it inserts for you and then you can paste your test pretty simple right you can open up your text box as well you double click and let's assume you want to use this particular bulletin point where is this one talking about this one so you double click on that and then it will check as well so in this case you do realize that you are getting different let me open this up in this case you do realize that you are getting different bulletin points in photoshop now for context you do realize that this isn't well formatted okay let me just get rid of this one here this isn't well formatted so how do you make sure that this whole thing are on the same line or they are well formatted and nicely done let me just go ahead and clear this one as i want to use this two which has the same bulletin point to make this illustration so you select the first line you're going to do this with the help of the character and paragraph two which i've thoroughly explained in my other video you can check it out here so you are going to first of all select all of this go to the toggle the character and paragraph panel and then we'll go to paragraph so we are going to first of all set this to justify left which makes the test well formatted but then you still realize that the bulletin aren't done nicely so what you can do is you can place your cursor on the first line over here come to this indent first line and then you can start dragging it to the left side so we want the bulletin to be out of the box so somewhere around here let's give it say minus 14 or say minus 13 i think minus 14 would work and we are going to do the same thing for the second line so you select here minus 14 and with this if you click on the check button over here you'd realize that your test is well formatted and now you've successfully added bulletin points to your test and the test is nicely formatted as well like i said if you want to use glyphs you might want to try out with a different font as some fonts may not have this bulletin that i showed you in this video but if you want the most popular font 
that has almost all the bulletin points that you can think of you can download winkings and install and if you don't know how to install fonts in photoshop i made a video on that as well so you can check this video i'll also leave a link in the description so that you can download it i hope this video was helpful if it was subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye